Hello everyone, welcome to Informatica support videos. This is Sindhu from Informatica GCS. In this video, I am going to explain how to install CDI PC on Linux operating system. Installation can be done in two ways. One is fresh installation, another one is migrating PC to CDI PC. Migration can be done starting from Power Center version 10.4.0. In this part of CDI PC playlist, I am going to explain how to perform installation of CDI PC on Linux. The agenda of this video is to know about how to download the installers in IDMC, followed by prerequisites to install CDI PC and a demo on how to install CDI PC. To download an installer, one has to register to IDMC and log in with their credentials. And once you log in to IDMC, you have to launch CDI PC checklet. And once you launch the CDI PC, you will have an option to download the installers over there. Once you click on download installers, you will have an option to download installers across a different version. We have three installer versions available, 0, 8, 11 and 12. 12 is the latest version. You can select the installer where you would like to download the CDI PC on which operating system you would like to download it and you will have an option to see a PAM over there and you can validate the OS and DB compatibility to CDI PC. Once you click on download, you can download the installer. Moving on to the prerequisites to install CDI PC, we have to get an Informatica license key and we have we have to verify the minimum system requirements like ram cpu and disk space usage on the system and we have to set the environment variables and verify the port availability on the machine and we need to set up the key store files because to install cdi pc the domain must be tls enabled and we have to generate a custom certificates either a self signed or ca signed to start with our cdi pc installation and we also need to set the file descriptor limit to 16,000 or higher. So these are the prerequisites to install CDI PC. Let me show you a demo on how to install CDI PC on Linux. I have logged into my Linux machine and I have created a folder called CDI PC. Let me go inside this folder. There I have placed my CDI PC installer and I have also placed the license key in this location. And I have created a folder called CDI PC underscore fresh to install my CDI PC over there. And I have created key store file as I mentioned these are must to install CDI PC. Four key store files for a domain and one for admin console. And I am done with all my prerequisites to install CDI PC. Now I am going to run an installer. When you run an installer, you will have an option to install CDI PC and migrate to CDI PC. Here I am going to explain installation of CDI PC. Hence I am just selecting option 1. Now we are going to run a pre-installation check first before proceeding with the installation. So I am selecting 1. We are running the pre-installation check to verify the minimum system requirement and database requirement to install a CDI PC. Once you select option 1, then it is asking you to enter the CDI PC installation directory. I am providing a CDI PC installation directory which I have created a folder called CDI PC underscore fresh. I have entered my CDI PC installation directory. And now it is asking for CDI PC node port number. I am just keeping it default. And here it is asking to select the database type. I am selecting Oracle. And now you have to enter the database user ID. I have entered my user ID, database user ID and a password. And now it is asking to provide a secure database parameters. I am not providing any as of now, so I am just selecting no. And here it is asking to configure the database connection. Select JDBC URL. 
now it is going to ask to enter database address and the port number i have entered the database address and the port number now it is asking the database service name i have entered my service name and here it is asking do you want to configure jdbc parameters i am selecting no for now and with this we got our pre installation summary just click enter to quit the pre installation system check and here it has mentioned what are all the pre checks which has passed and the details of whatever the information we have given database database host details and the installation directory with this we have completed our pre installation check now we will proceed with uh, our actual installation process for that we have to run the same installer again i am going to run the install.sh again to do a fresh installation select one and now i am selecting option 2 to perform a installation since we are done with the pre installation check it will ask to enter to continue and just clicking enter and then it will give all the pre installation checks disk space memory and database requirement and pre installation task just click enter and here it will ask to enter the installation directory and my installation directory is the same one so i am just clicking enter or you can just mention the path as well and here it will ask to give the path and the license key file i have just copied the path along with the license key details here now it will going to extract the installer it will take some time just be patient in this step you can see uh, what is the installation type you are performing installation directory required disk space and available disk space information and now extraction is done and in the fifth step it is asking to create a domain or join a domain here i'm selecting create a domain since it's my fresh installation of cdi pc and it is asking for admin tool administrator tool https port i am just keeping it default one and later it is asking to enter the path and the file name of the custom key store file required for admin console i have copied uh, my key store file along with the path where i have placed this key store file and i am entering the password and it is asking to enable saml authentication as of now i am selecting no now it is asking to enter the custom key store file directory which is required to enable a secure communication to domain i am providing the directory where my key store file for a domain has been placed mm, entering the password it's again asking for a trust store i am providing the path for that along with the password now it is going to ask to select the database type select i am selecting oracle and since we have already done a pre installation check it has recorded the data whatever we have entered over there so you can just click on default i have entered my password and provide secure database parameters no enter jdbc url select one and this is my database address i am just clicking enter and service name is correct do you want to configure jdbc parameters as of now no and here it is asking to enter the full path directory where you want to store the cdi pc encryption key by default it is taking the cdi pc installation directory followed by some default path where we will be having a site key 
So I'm just following the default one. And here it will ask when you select the path and directory where the site key is present, then it will give a information that the unique site key is generated. And if you want to take a copy of this manually, then you have to select option two here. Confirm that you want to manually back up the site key that the installer generates. So I'm just selecting yes. The information has been displayed here that the encrypt encryption key gets generated in following location with the file name site key. I'm just clicking enter. And here it will ask to provide a domain and node configuration details. I'm providing domain uh, name as domain underscore CDI PC. And this is my host address. I'm just putting the same node name. I'm just selecting a default one along with the port number. And you have to provide a domain username here to log into admin control. I'm just keeping it default. Do you want to enable pass password complexity? As of now, I'm selecting no here. And it is asking to enter the domain password. You have to enter the domain password. I have entered my domain password and it will ask to confirm the password. You have to just enter that password. Now it is asking, do you want to display the advanced port configuration page? Now I'm selecting no. Do you want to create a CDI PC repository service and CDI PC integration service? I'm selecting no for now. Once the domain is up, I'm going to create later. Now it will start generating encryption key, defining a domain. This step will going to take bit time and it has defined the node registering, the plugin, starting the CDI PC node, pinging the node and admin console. After that, it says information that to create a services, the domain must be registered in IDMC. Yes, in order to create a PCRS and PCIS, services you must register your domain in idmc and video to know more about how to register a domain in idmc is already available in informatica support videos you can just refer to that for more information now i am just clicking enter here so once you click on enter you can see the installation status here the installation status shows success and again the Informatica CDI for Power Center installation is complete and it says that in order to log into admin console you have to register your domain in IDMC and it has given the domain database details, host details and the port details along with the admin console link to log into admin console. So with this, we have completed our uh, CDI PC fresh installation on Linux. And you can see the detailed logging information in this installation log, which is mentioned here. Further, any issues during the installation can be viewed by visiting to this log. With this, we have completed a demo on how to install CDI PC on Linux. We would love to hear from you. You can provide a feedback by visiting support videos at the rate informatica.com and also you can write us on Twitter. Thank you for watching this video.